Morning guys. So it's Sunday morning, second day home alone. And last night was hard. I, um, I felt my heart, but the good news is when I feel my heart and I'm a little scared for my life, I don't want to masturbate. So that's a good, that's a good thing. Um, so basically a lot of you guys left comments about your heart. And the more I talk about the heart, the more people chime in and they're like, yeah, me too. I've, I've had some weird heart pains and I'm no way a doctor or a physician. You know, if you have chest pain, you should definitely check out, you know, go to a doctor immediately or call 911. But for me, <clears throat> I'm, I just completely changed my diet. I went to the ER last week. The EKG came up completely clean. Doctor's like, yeah, I don't know. You know, I mean, maybe you just strained a rib because I told them that the pain had moved from my heart down to my, my left lower side by the top rib. And I looked it up and that's where our great, our large intestine is. And so I did a salt water flush and the pain was gone there. And I was like, okay, cool. But then a couple days later, it's back in my heart. So I'm gonna tell you just really quick what I do, um, what I have been doing. Um, the first thing in the morning I take, well, let me just back up. What I take before I go to bed, I, I, take, I take tension tamer tea, and then I have, I put these herbs in the tea it's there's one called EKG and it can actually uh, help soothe your muscle, your heart muscle. Uh, EKG is a blend, it's herbs, and you can get that over at the Interstellar Plan. And fascinating website. The guy is a really cool guy. Um, and then I take about a dropper of CBD oil. I have 1500 milligram. And then I do two magnesiums. And so that, that pretty much knocks me out. That's, that's pretty good. In the morning, I take aspirin right away. They always hand you aspirin in the hospital, so I might as well do it here. You know, I mean, that's like their only defense. Usually when you walk into the ER, they hand you uh, aspirin. So I'm like, oh, well, I can do that. That's a no brainer. So I do aspirin in the morning and I do a, a capsule of, it's called factor four. Uh, it's to my, uh, it's my live good opportunity. It's, it's the company I'm in. I'm a distributor. Anyways, factor four has, uh, CoQ10, garlic, curcumin, and, uh, anchovy oil. So I take that and then I put, um, Throm, which is another herb from the interstellar plan into my coffee. And then, so that right there is three things in the morning. I got my aspirin, my factor four, and then Throm in my coffee. So that's three lines of defense. Then my fiance gave me this YouTube video called uh, Heart Failure Rife Frequency. So I'm listening to that and I'm keeping my, my breathing low and slow and deep, okay? I'm a nervous guy. I, I was hyperactive growing up. So, and I was really hard on my heart. I've already had a heart attack, but they said it was genetic because no way can a 32 year old have a 80% blockage in their left anterior artery. Anyways, they put a stent in and now I'm 52. So it's like a 20 year anniversary, but being home alone and thinking about my heart is the worst thing I can do because I could go into panic because the heart is very emotional. The heart is like the, the center for feelings, for, for emotions, for tent, you know, your heart feels everything your, your mind's going through. So you really got to stay calm and you have to have faith. Okay. Because right now I'm like, this isn't about me anymore. This is, if God wants to take me young, then he will. If God wants to save me, he will. I've been watching some amazing near death experience videos on YouTube and one guy had full blown AIDS, was in a coma, his, his lungs collapsed, his organs were failing and his, his uh, family came 
and they were praying for him. They became prayer warriors and prayed around the clock. And then the guy started, he was in this, the guy in the coma was in a supernatural battle between good and evil. And he was going to go to hell because he was gay. And uh, Satan was like, you're mine. But then he, he prayed and his family prayed. And all of a sudden Jesus came in and just completely wiped out all of his, I mean, he renewed his body. He doesn't, his AIDS went into submission. His organs came back. His lungs came back. So I really do believe that the number one doctor is the Holy Spirit. And I've been, you know, I've been backsliding. Uh, I've been doing a lot better for the last two months. I've only masturbated three times in two months. That's really good for me. It used to be two to three times a day. So I'm, I'm really trying to be a better Christian. And we are in a spiritual battle. So <clears throat> it's just between me and God right now. I mean, I don't have, Misha's not here. She's in Texas and I'm in this big house all by myself. I don't have friends. I have you guys. So keep your comments coming. I mean, are you, are you experiencing any like heart pain? Uh, I, I mean, most people I talk to are like, oh yeah, I, I feel my heart all the time. And I, I'm not even going to mention what's going on in our environment. Okay. There is, there is a headline in the news about six months ago. It was only on the news for a second, but it was like, there's something in the air in Indonesia that is causing people to have heart attacks. And then that was the last I heard of it. So, um, yes, I am a conspiracy theorist and, um, they're, they are doing things and I think they're targeting people. I think, uh, I'm not going to get into it and don't leave a comment about it. Um, I'm just, I'm just relaying it out there. I I've had heart issues in the past, but I think what they're doing is targeting weaknesses. So if you have a pre disposition to, uh, heart problems, then, then that's going to be exacer exacerbated. If you have something else as an issue, that's going to be exacerbated. So this is really a, a time to lean into God, to into Jesus. And I, this isn't about religion. This isn't about church. It's about a relationship with Jesus. Just talk to him like, a, you know, like a, your father. Talk to him like a friend, a father. Just be like, hey, Jesus, I'm sorry that, you know, I've been backsliding for years. I want you to come back into my heart. In fact, I'll leave a prayer under this video. So you can say that um, out loud. Just be sincere when you do it. And it's not going to heal you in one second. Um, but just keep doing it. Just keep forming a relationship, you know, like with a long lost friend because he's our father. He's our true father. And, um, so with the, what's weird is I stim. So I rock back and forth, been doing this since I was two. And, um, I can't wait to wake up in the morning and have coffee and rock. Um, I call it rock rocking. I used to call it rock rocking. Now I just call it rock. Um, but I have to be careful because I hyperventilate when I rock because my breath starts to, my breathing starts to match my rocking. And if I'm nervous and I rock fast, then I'm going. <sighs> and if you do that for a couple hours, it's hard to stand up and, and function and articulate and think. So I have to slow that down. I got the heart rife on right now. I'm talking to you guys to get my mind off of um, my heart. It's all about for me. I'm not a doctor or anything. Again, if you feel your heart really bad, then you gotta go to the, or call 911. But um, the stemming really helps. It taps into my childhood, taps into my, it's my number one coping mechanism for everything. I used to rock 14 hours a day. I'm kind of back to that. I mean, I'm, I quit rocking for a month and then I, people on this channel that have autism and they stem, they're like, why are you quitting? This is something that self-regulates us. You know, it keeps us sane. It keeps us normal. Uh, we need our stem. 
So if you stem, then leave a comment and uh, we're, we're fighting the good fight, guys. I mean, this is a spiritual battle and I am scared. I am scared to death. But on the other side, I have to be faithful and strong. And but, you know, I'm scared. I'm going to leave my family. I'm going to break their hearts. I'm going to leave Misha. But then on the flip side, I'm like, God, if it's my time, then take me. If it's not, please keep me here. I the whole the last 10 years, this is the last thing I'll, I'll say The the last since 2020, I knew that there was going to be a great awakening coming. I don't know what that looks like. I think it's where people wake up and they realize that uh, I, I can't say it on this channel. I hate it, but um, people wake up. Let's just say that. And uh, the whole structure, the whole system changes, the whole matrix. Okay. It's like a revolution. Now, um, I always thought since 2020, since I was red pilled, that I am here for that. Misha and I are here for that. We are spiritual warriors. We're supposed to shine our light when others are freaking out because they never knew they were in a matrix. And Misha and I are supposed to hold space and be strong for others. So if God takes me out right before the, for the, before the great awakening, what the heck? I mean, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Misha and I were, we're like, uh, twin flames or soul partners, whatever you call it. I'm not into the whole spirit airy fairy thing, but, um, we knew we were meant to be here this long and we we've been together for 14 years. We've already been through a lot. And, uh, why, why go, why go right before the great awakening? I mean, that would really suck. So leave a comment. I love you guys. And, uh, like and subscribe. I'm going to be talking to you guys every day and uh, at least the next two weeks because it's scary being in this house all alone. My my old coping mechanisms were, you know, go dark, go perverted, listen to hardcore drill rap, you know, uh, basically invite demons in. And, uh, you know, and then by the time Misha comes home, I'm like really dark and, you know, the light's gone out of my eyes. I've been masturbating every day, five times a day, listening to hardcore gangster rap, angry. But then when I turn to the light when she leaves and I pray the whole time, when she comes home, I have this really powerful light in my eyes and I'm loving and I'm patient and I'm forgiving. And we have that choice to do that every single day. We can go dark or we can go light. It's up to you. Do you want to be? Do you want to visit hell on earth, or do you want to visit heaven on earth? And the last, the at least, what I can do with this channel is to just be my, be honest, be vulnerable, and you know, this could be my last video. But I, I'm fighting. I'm fighting. My faith is stronger than ever. Talk to Jesus all day long. That's all I got. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.